The goal of this tutorial is to orient ourselves to the ORCAD environment and prep all of our settings and get ourselves set in order to do our first schematic. On the search bar up here, we type in Design Entry CIS and select our program here for our ORCAD. When the window pops up, we can just select the first option here. And this is what we will see starting up our start page, and this is what you see every time you start it. Up here, if we come to Windows and go down to our tab here in Windows, click down to Session Log. You can see down here, this is the session log. It already popped up with mine, but it may not be there with yours. This will contain all the record of events that occurred during your current designs. In order to start a new schematic that's going to go to a PCB board, which is the goal of these tutorials, is to end up with a PCB board. Come to the top here, we're going to close out of our start page, then come up to File, New, Project, and then we want to select our PCB board wizard here. And you can see with every option, they all have their um, what they're specifically used for. Analog mixed AD um, is mainly for PCB design, or for, mainly for simulation, sorry, but it can do PCBs design. Uh, the PCB board wizard is mainly for um, the PCB design, and uh, simulation is possible through that. Our schematic down here does PCB design with uh, no simulation possible, and you can read the descriptions here on the side. When naming our files, we will select the name that has no spaces in it. I've named mine example project 1. And then when you are going to find a location to save to, save under your cadence folder. Don't try to save it to another place because if there's spaces in it the, and you try to retrieve it or create nest lists, it just creates a lot of problems later on. So I went under my C drive where my cadence is, SPB 16.6, .6, and then I created a projects folder. And that will be fine. Just click OK. And then click OK here. We do not want to enable our simulation, so click Next, and then we do not need to add any libraries, so just click Finish. And the first thing that pops up here is our two windows here. Here we have the schematic page editor window, and then uh, the other tab here is our project manager window. Under our project manager window, we can have our um, we have our project type displayed up here. Uh, for us, it's a PCB. We can look at our um, schematic page editor window here. When you in the drill down, the DSN file, schematic one, page one, and we can rename both of those by right clicking and clicking rename. And I'll just type in here, rename, right click, rename, okay, we can add schematics by right clicking, click new page, it will default to page one, or if you left page one, it will default to page two, and you can rename those. We can do new schematics by uh, clicking new schematic under the DSN file, clicking OK, and adding pages under your schematic. You can copy and paste over schematics or drag and drop them into new folders. You can right click. Select copy, um, go to your schematic that you want to paste it into, select paste, and you have your new, uh, you copied it over to your uh, second schematic folder, and you can go back and forth. You cannot uh, name the same pages, the pages cannot have the same name under the same schematic. Under different schematics they can, such as page one up top, page two below. 
under our hierarchy view tab up here, you will have your root schematic um, viewed there. We can see it's our rename schematic. We can change our root um, by clicking make root, save design, and you click over. Now we see the new schematic under here. And that becomes important when we start doing a hierarchical design hierarchical design. Until then, it is not important. So I've up and named my schematic or example project one and my page example schematic one. Now we're going to come into our schematic, just double click, and that opens up your schematic and we're going to mess with our settings in here. If you come up to options, drop down to preferences, and this will give you all your different preferences and you can play with these get different colors in here grid displays your zooms over here all the rest of these settings have schematic page editor and parts and symbol editor you see that's for every single one of these uh, except for our colors here and so you see the two sides and you can mess with those. The one that you want to make sure is on is that your pointer snaps to your grid. That helps you when you're drawing to line everything up easily. And I'm going to click OK. Next, we'll go to Option Schematic Page Properties. This is the properties of this specific page. If you change anything and you had multiple schematic pages open here, it would only change the settings for this page. And you got your grid reference here. Um, and miscellaneous. Something else to look at here on this page. If we zoom out, we can see our title block on here. And I'll go ahead and zoom into that. Uh, you can manipulate this title block or create your own title block going under options, uh, options design template, and we can design our own template. Here you can put in all your settings for your title block. Here I already populated this with some example text and we're just going to click OK and then we come over to place. Uh, you can click on title block and then just select the type we want. We'll select 5N here and you can see that we have all that example text in our new title block. And of course, you can double click on it and manipulate any of those fields. You can do the same, keep the same title block, um, whatever you want with that. The last thing we want to talk about is setting up your auto backup. That is done very simply, should be done with every schematic that you do. Um, so under options, auto backup, and then we go to set our time. 10 minutes, I believe, is the um, minimum setting and to start with you can turn this up or keep an hour's worth or more as much as you need to start with as you get further along 30 minutes might be more than enough um, I just keep mine set an hour just in case when creating your directory um, go under your same drill down um, so we create our projects folder and we I went back to create an example project so you can keep everything in one folder for each and every, um, for that single schematic design. And so under that we're going to create another directory or I think it does it for us. So we're just going to click OK and then we want to click OK. Now, if we ever mess something up in our project, we can go back and pull open one of our backup files, and we can find that under our drill down in our normal files. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or issues, just uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and other people might come behind you and answer it, or if I get around to it, I will answer it. Or you can find some more information online on the forums.